Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Assassin's Creed Valhalla build tutorials. Today I'm going to show you guys the best build in the game and I call it the fastest viking in the north. This viking build is good in the long range with bows and is extremely deadly in short range with melee. This is because you're going to be using two of the best perks in the game because of your armors and your skills. With this intact you will never run out of resources and you'll be constantly using your abilities and also constantly fueling up your stamina bar. All together you can defeat even a legendary animal that is 80 levels above you when you have this build on very hard. So if you would like to see more Valhalla build tutorials, you can click on the card above or the playlist link in the description below and you will find all of the build tutorials I have done for this game all year long. And like I said, as always, the combat difficulty is on very hard and the stealth difficulty is on Master Assassin. Now to complete this build, you're going to need about 145 skill points but you can start working towards it at about level 100. Now the mentor armor set is key so you must get this armor and to be able to get it I'm gonna show you the locations right now but make sure you use the reefer archer build I showed you in the previous tutorial to gain these armor pieces this is because uh, to gain the last three pieces of the mentor set armor you need to find them in level 250 so now there's a little bit of fighting but not a lot you can get away with it but I suggest go in with the reefer archer build to those locations and pick up every piece of the mentor set now the mentor set is so good because if you take a look at its perk what it does is it increases attack after critical hits and it also increases speed if you put the whole set on. Now this perk can be stacked 5 times and the effect lasts for 35 seconds. That means if you can get your 5th critical within a fight, you will have a 35 second buff of plus 20 attack and 10 speed. Now you want to make that perfect and combine it with the Viper Bow. This is because the Viper Bow increases your critical chance after each hit and since you're trying to chase for 5 you know, critical hits within a fight, this is the best weapon for it. And understand this, this increased critical chance perk after each hit does not only limit to your bow, it's all your weapons. Now the best ability to go with this is to focus on the Nornia because it slows down time and it allows you to hit at a higher rate. The weapons you want to use is the uh, Fear Spear, so this one increases speed after dodging. It's going to allow you to get in more hits. And then in the offhand, you want to use the CX Dagger because this also increases your melee damage after a dodge. So when you dodge, you're going to be OP. In regards to skill points, uh, once you get the power 145, you want to lay out every single skill point exactly the way I've done it here. For the red tree, those are the three abilities you're going to need and make sure you take every note that I have taken there. Uh, the key one that you must have is a light bow combo because it's going to increase your light bow attack after consecutive shots. Also make sure you get this note that increases your light bow uh, abilities and attributes. In terms of the yellow tree, those are all the yellow notes and uh, main skills you need. Take the exact same path I have taken there because if you do that, you'll be able to get every single way of the raven notes which is huge to increase critical chance in your gear because you're going to be wearing all raven gear. For the blue tree, those are the uh, skills you need and the exact notes and points make sure you go all the way up to here and you pick up arrow reinforcement so that if you do happen to use your bow a lot which you could but i suggest you use melee but with this you won't run out of arrows so those are the skills you need and with all of this put together so how do you use this build in game so let me show you how to do this tactically so yes you have a bow but really this is a melee build because as you can see i'm meleeing with my spear and dagger here and if you look at uh, above my adrenaline you see the perks that are triggering i'm triggered the two middle ones are the dodge perks and then the one on the left is the critical chance increase and the one on the right is the armor perk of increasing attack and uh, melee I said critical. So you can see every single time I critical hit, it's going to fill up, you know, these perks. And right here, you can see both of the critical chance is filled. So that's plus 30 critical chance. And also the mental armor is filled. So that's plus 30 critical chance, plus 20 attack, and plus 10 speed as long as I keep attacking. So it's perfect for melee. Now here you can see versus a legendary animal that is 80 levels plus above me, as you can see with the red dot. So I should have no chance in this fight. But that is not the case. So I'm going to start off with the focus on Ornia to get my critical chance up. And you can see on the left at the perk screen section above the adrenaline bar, I'm getting the critical chance up. And as I critical hit, you can see on the right, the uh, mentor armor set perk of the attack and plus attack and speed is also filling up. And when I'm in focus on Ornia, make sure you don't do what I'm about to do here. You see, there's a little bit of stamina left. I should have quit out, but instead I kept attacking. So now I ran out of stamina. Always stop your focus on Narnia just before you run out of stamina and get close to the enemy. I didn't do that here, so I ran out, so now I couldn't dodge until my you know stamina bar comes back. 
Good thing I have grit, so even I get hit, I get my health back if I hit the enemy back, but that's not the best way to fight. Allow me to show you how to do it perfectly. So to do it perfectly, you get into your focus on only app, build up your critical chance, build up your uh, attack and speed buff. So once you get those up, now, as you can see, the stamina bar is depleting, but I'm getting closer and closer to the enemy within spear range. And now that I know I'm within spear range, I try to get to the back of my enemy. And right before my stamina bar runs out, I'm going to stop doing the focus on Narnia and go straight into light attack melees. I do that, I'm going to get all of my stamina back and my adrenaline. And I'm also using full critical chance and full mantra set armor buff. Rinse and repeat, I can just do it this way and also make sure to dodge because you can see I dodged here so I also have the plus 10 speed which allows me to shoot more arrows so once again I'm in focus on Narnia I'm building up my buffs I'm gonna keep shooting keep shooting when I'm about to run out of stamina I get close to the enemy within spear range almost out now I'm gonna stop focus on Narnia I'm gonna let go of L2 and just go into L1 spear attacks get everything back all right you do it just like that with all of these buffs working together with such synergy and so efficiently all at the same time nothing can stand in your way all right now one important thing about the mentor set uh attack and speed buff i want you to understand even though it says it lasts for 35 seconds but this 35 second clock actually refreshes every single time i crit so you can see as i crit up this is my third crit hit in this fight you can see the clock restarted the clock really only starts counting down and never restarts until i get to my fifth critical hit so if i can get to five critical hits within 35 seconds i will be able to get a full 35 second buff of plus 20 attack and plus 10 speed and because the bow allows any of my weapon to build a critical chance there is literally no way that i can't get five critical hits in the span of a fight. I can probably get five critical hits if I get into focus on Narnia. I can get five critical hits by the end of the ability most likely. And once I get that, I will have full 35 second buff of plus 20 attack, plus 10 speed, and plus 30 critical chance as long as I keep attacking, right? Because the critical chance buff is every two and a half seconds. I get to keep that plus 30 critical chance buff as I climb up to that point after 10 attacks as long as I keep attacking every two seconds. So this is high pace but it's deadly and the synergy is insane. All of the dodging also really helps because it allows me to keep hitting but while you know getting a speed buff and a melee damage buff. Everything works together perfectly, you cannot be stopped. This is the fastest viking in the north. So you can see versus enemies, now this is 100 level plus. They are like 100 levels higher than me. And there's just nothing they can do. Uh, obviously you wanna get the grit and the last chance healing skill just in case you do run into a fight well you are purposely running in a fight that's way too high of a level for you but you'll be able to survive them with this you can see i'm getting on my buffs now here i did it wrong right you see i quit out of the focus of Narnia too late again so that's a bad habit i've obviously fixed it since then but i started noticing i can be way more efficient as long as i stop doing the focus of Narnia with a little bit of stamina left get close to the enemy and l1 attack everyone all right so enjoy this last bit of footage and just focus on that perk screen and just everything that is triggering all at the same time and how i'm able to keep it up all at once as always if you got any questions leave it in the comment section and uh, i look forward to speak to you guys again very soon